Welcome, welcome everybody, my name is Bob Lars and we have a beautiful headset here in my hand. It's called the Sony MDR-1000X. That's one of the most premium headphones Sony is selling right now and they're really amazing. I've been using them for a week and I will tell you in a minute how great they are, but let's first check out what's inside the box. Except for that I have the headphones already right here ready for listening. So, um, as you can see on the box, as I mentioned, great features, for example, we have a long battery life of 20 hours. I actually got out even more, I would say, I've been using them for the past full week. I've been traveling with them to Hungary from Hungary back, that's 7 hours of train travel each. been using them in subways for 1 hour at a time and I still have not charged them for the last week. So that's quite great and it didn't even tell me for the last week I should charge them at all, so I'm still trying to get to the end of the battery. Otherwise, you have all kinds of premium um, Bluetooth uh, connections available and also if you use by it, then by cable, you have high-res audio built in. On the back side, there's even more tech specs that you could read about. If you want to stop the video, you can do that right now. Um, or on the bottom, there's also some stuff saying here, uh, um, all listed here on the bottom. But let's just dive in and check out what's inside the box. So we have a beautiful wooden, you know, sadly not wooden, but probably recy recycled paper box which we can easily open up and then we have right away here leather um, hard case pouch which is feeling quite good. Let me take that out but on the other side we have even more to check out as you can see we have some cables um, inside a micro USB cable so we can easily charge um, our headphones. Then we have the high-res audio cable, which I can show you right now, here a little bit closer to the camera. The right side, from me to the right side, so this side will go into the headset and the other side will go into your high-res audio player. Golden ends and they feel, feel quite great and the cable is also quite nice and thick and has a good touch to it. Otherwise, just some reading material how to use the headphones, but I will tell you that right now anyway in this video. And then we have obviously more um, in this leather pouch, so let's check that out. So we have here this beautiful, probably fake leather, but still good looking pouch, which you can actually open up for example here on the side and put them um, on anything you want. Uh, for example inside an airplane you can just dangle them somewhere um, down and have your headphones in there. On the back you have some space to put the cables in. If you don't want to get your headphones scratched you have a little bit of space for cables and adapters here on the back but you can also easily open them up with just one little zipper. And then you can see on the inside we have this nice soft touch um, inner side and I didn't take out the paper yet but here the headphones would be inside like this and below that we have the same soft touch um, as you have seen on the top and then we have here also this adapter for your um, um, headset for your in-flight entertainment that you can use them via cable, you don't have to use them via Bluetooth and that's actually it from what you will get for your 400 bucks. So that's quite a deep price, steep price, but the same price as you would pay for example for a Sennheiser um, or a Bose or anything like that in this premium ANC active noise cancelling technology because we have on this one also here on the top one uh, microphone here and another microphone right there for noise cancellation and there's more microphones built in obviously you can talk also um, on the phone with this headset which is just amazing in sound as I will show you in a second. So um, it's sadly quite easy to change the size. I didn't, that's the only feature I don't like almost about the Sony headset, but they're quite, as you can see, sturdy when it comes to you can do anything to them that you, that you want because we have a full metal body here on the top that goes all the way um, through here on the top band, but otherwise we have a little bit of plastic outside here and then we have here this full leather uh, touch also on the outside of the headphones, which looks quite premium and is also looking quite good with also metal going all around here, um, around uh, the whole device which does not seem like metal but it is metal because I can not only feel it but I can also see that after one week of use there's one, one little scratch already in here and you can definitely see that that is uh, or feel also if you would be here that that is not plastic. So we have a few buttons, you can uh, turn the device on and off, obviously on the bottom. Then you have your NC and your ambient sound. Now the NC is quite great ambient sound, I didn't use that much, I didn't like that. Um, and then on the bottom we have here the 3.5mm jack, um, or actually it's probably 1.8mm jack anyhow, so you can easily plug them in um, to your um, device if you want to uh, use high res sound or if the battery is low. Then we have micro USB to charge the whole um, thing and once I put them on like this, you can see that the design is quite good. It um, makes the head not look too big or actually at least my head not too big and a few people even told me that's a nice design accessory also here in this beautiful black color. 
As far as I know, it's not only available in black, in some lighter color it's also available, but if I press just now here the button, just by um, touching here the surface, I'm playing music from my phone right away because they're still on, and uh, I could, for example, switch to the next track by doing this. Um, or going back to go to the last song and I could go up for a volume up and going down for volume down These are the features and I usually never use maybe the tapping for playing and pausing um, But nothing else much because um, it's just easier to do it on the phone because it's not that exact And for example changing the volume you just need to do this a lot of times and I don't like that very much It's faster to just do that um, on the phone Otherwise great sound deeps are in there really deep and the highs are also in there and the mids also just perfect headphones if you ask me. I've been using them for a whole week with one battery as I mentioned so I don't want to give them back. I don't want to go back to the Sennheiser even though these were great. These were my first choice. Now the Sony MDR-1000X are my first choice. Thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj and let me continue listening to my music and sadly give them back tomorrow. I'm um, here the Sony um, headphones which are now my favorite Bluetooth headphones even before the Bose if you ask me. Yes the QC35 were just too cheap and made of plastic and they felt kind of cheap and the sound was also all right but um, the quality of build was just not there um, for the price they were asking. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj again. Give me a like if you like this video. Until next time. Peace and then again.